Hello and welcome to another episode of Simply Pathology by 2 Minute Doc. Before starting this video, I'd like to let you know about my new book review video on Golian Rapid Review Textbook of Pathology, which is a very helpful book for rapid revision of high yield concepts in pathology. And the link for it will be in the description of this video. So after watching this video, make sure to check make sure to check it out. In this video, we're going to see about polyarthritis nodosa, which is a medium-sized vessel vasculitis. So why is it called as polyarthritis nodosa? In polyarthritis nodosa, there's going to be involvement of renal artery causing renal damage and involvement of mesenteric artery which can cause bowel necrosis and there can also be involvement of coronary artery, testicular artery and the small arteries which are supplying the skin. And the word nodosa represents the formation of aneurysms which is localized bulging of because of weakness of the walls of the in, uh, inflamed blood vessels. The clinical features of polyarthritis nodosa can be renal failure and hematuria because of involvement of renal artery and as I told there can be involvement of coronary artery which can cause myocardial infarction and because of involvement of mesenteric artery there can be bowel ischemia leading to bowel necrosis and these patients can have bloody diarrhea and in certain cases of polyarthritis nodosa these patients have been found to be positive for hepatitis B virus infection and in these patients polyarthritis nodosa is found to be immune complex mediated otherwise the cause of polyarthritis nodosa is usually unknown it can also present as fever of unknown origin where the exact causes, cause for fever is unknown. Polyarthritis nodosa is usually common in adult men. The diagnosis can be confirmed by doing biopsy in the affected area where you can see necrotizing vasculitis and by doing angiography we can see the presence of aneurysms in various blood vessels. So usually if you see an adult male with hematuria, cardiac events such as myocardial infarction, bloody diarrhea, pyrexia of unknown origin and other features like testicular pain and skin ulcers, you can suspect polyarthritis nodosa as a possible diagnosis. The treatment for polyarthritis nodosa is corticosteroids, the principle being immunosuppression because polyarthritis nodosa is an autoimmune condition. You can watch more episodes of Simply Pathology by clicking the link you see on the screen right here. I have released a new 3 hour Pomodoro study with me video on my study with Tony YouTube channel. If you are interested make sure to check out the link is in the description of this video. And if you are interested in investing in crypto you can use the referral link in the description and you can get rupees 100 worth of ethereum coin for free. You can also don't forget to check out my book review video on Golian Rapid Review Pathology which is a major source of reference for this current video. If you want to support my channel you can join the cappuccino squad the link is in the description. If you learned something new in this video please hit the like button and share this video to your friends and groups and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you'll get notified when I post the up next video. And meanwhile you can watch the other videos you see on the screen right here. Thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video.